This is Roger Bennett from Men in Blazers, and I'm not going to lie. I've never been much of a Hanukkah fan. It always seemed to be a minor, minor holiday without much religious significance that had been contorted out of all perspective in the 20th century by its proximity to Christmas. This year, though, feels different. Over the past 12 months, the coronavirus pandemic, the Black Lives Matter movement, the toxicity of the election have made 2020 a numbing year of division, of chaos and fear, one in which, like millions of others, I've retreated to the familiar for a sense of nourishment and meaning, in my case, world football, which has found a way, like many pro sports, to keep on playing, albeit in a modified, fanless fashion, week in, week out, since May. Men's and women's football, those great sporting telenovelas, filled with heroes and villains, ridiculous haircuts and surplus neck tattoos. The great Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp calls football the most important, least important thing. And the joy that narrative has given us living in lockdown over the course of the last six months, it's been a thing of wonder, of meaning, a sense of purpose, an emotional release, and most importantly, a deep connection in those moments of action that transcend sports. That feeling of connection to each other, in awe, and passion, and gratitude. In short, football's been a light in the darkness. And that awareness has given me new insight into new appreciation for Hanukkah that I've never had. The light in the darkness of winter through the centuries, through winters that in the past that have no doubt been more gruelling even than the one that we're about to experience. And as I light that first candle, I'll be thinking of those things. Gratitude, awe, and at a time when the football stadiums of the world are empty, and the synagogues too will be, I'll feel a profound sense of connection through space and time to my family and those I love, especially you, David Beckham. Courage.